Outrageous Fortune is a 1987 film starring Shelley Long and Beth Midler. It's directed by Arthur Hiller and written by Leslie Dixon. And honestly, after the first 20 minutes or so, I found the narrative to be kind of boring. I didn't really care for it. But Shelley Long and Beth Midler's performances are so fantastic that whenever they were on screen, which is pretty much constantly, I really found it captivating. So the narrative didn't interest me after after we started to get a lot of answers very quickly. But the first 20 minutes or so were really solid. And after that, the performances were so good that I didn't really mind the narrative not being interesting. And this is coming from somebody who is very, very narrative driven. Generally, I need a good narrative to enjoy a film. But I am biased because I do very much love Shelley Long. So I will accept the potential or definite bias there, but their performances were brilliant. And this is a comedy about two women, Lauren and Sandy, played by Long and Midler, who both are in a relationship or, well, they're sleeping with the same man. I don't know if relationship is too strong a word, but we know very quickly that this is the case. And they both actually meet as they're both at the same acting class and the characters could not be less alike. And actually, as much as I hate to admit it, Shelley Long's character, Lauren, is not the nicest to Sandy, at least to begin with. And then something happens where they both realise they're with the same man. And, well, I don't want to say anything else about that at the moment without spoiling it. But they end up having to spend a lot of time together and going on a rather outrageous adventure to find out some answers to many questions. And the mystery element to begin with was really fascinating. But the more we got information, the less I started to care about the narrative. And ultimately, the journey that they went on, I just found to be rather boring for my personal tastes. I can certainly see it appealing to some people. But for me, I just didn't care about the specifics of the narrative However, the performances, as I said, were absolutely fantastic. Really thoroughly enjoyed watching both of them work. They were just so brilliant and they work so well together. And as a Shelley Long fan, it really made my heart sing. It is so unusual, as I said, for me to enjoy a film where I haven't enjoyed the narrative. That basically never happens. But their, their performances are just so captivating that I, I, I couldn't take my eyes away from the screen. So that, for me, is a sign of some solid performances. I can actually pinpoint the part where it started to get dull for me. So I will say that with a spoiler warning in a moment, because at that point we had more answers. And I think the suspense should have been held for a little bit longer. It's not meant to be a suspenseful film, it is a comedy. But for me, when I was enjoying the narrative, it was the confusion, the uncertainty. That's the bit that I liked. And then once we had more answers, I just wasn't that interested. But brilliant performances. Some great dialogue as well. So definitely not a bad film, but a very different experience to what I usually enjoy. I do recommend it, though. I definitely recommend it. It is, a, a, well, it's a good film with some amazing performances. The narrative will appeal to some people more than it did to me. I don't think it's a bad narrative. I don't think it's badly written. Yes, I think the suspense could have been held a little bit longer. But at the same time, it's just down to personal preference for the most part. But if it's your kind of narrative and you love the performances, you might actually be in for a real treat. So I definitely do recommend Outrageous Fortune. So with a spoiler warning from now, I will tell you the point where I kind of started to lose interest. So this is a big spoiler for something that's revealed. It's actually quite early on, but it's still something that I hadn't necessarily expected. So what happens at the beginning? They both realise they're um, dating the same man because... He goes into the florist, or we think he goes into the florist, to buy some roses for Lauren. And there's just this unexpected explosion. And both Lauren and Sandy are, are at the morgue to look at the body. And that's when they both realise they're dating the same person. And then they realise that it's it's not him under the sheet. It wasn't his body that they recovered from the explosion. So where is he? That I thought was very interesting. 
And I wish that they'd been trying to, and, and this is what I also assumed the film would be about uh, when I started watching it. I wish it'd taken them longer to track him down and to get some answers because I thought that's what the film would be about. And then at the end, we'd have the reveal and there he was and they'd be able to start getting answers. But it was just too much too soon. And I think for me, the suspense was lost pretty quickly. But as I said, the performances from Shelley Long and Beth Midler are, are so fantastic that unusually for me, I can overlook a not that interesting narrative. Their performances were so good that I can't help but say that actually I still rather enjoyed Outrageous Fortune. 